Hi guys, I am back with another Dollarama haul. This one is going to be a little bit shorter than my previous hauls, but I did still manage to find some really exciting items. So I'm just gonna jump right in. For those of you who've been following my hauls, you know that my son's having an emoji themed birthday. So I did find this actual emoji licensed wrapping paper. So it was $2 for the tube but you do get 12 feet of paper, which I thought was a pretty good deal, especially for being licensed emoji. Then for my kiddos as well, I also picked them each up a Hot Wheels. If you've watched my previous hauls, you probably saw that I picked up the Metal Machines versions of Dinky Cars. Uh, they were only $1.25 in comparison to the Hot Wheels, which were $1.50 a piece. But when I saw the cute colors and patterns that these ones came in, I thought I might as well pick one of these each up for their stockings as well. Uh, they absolutely love Dinky Cars. It doesn't matter what brand they are. They just love to play with them inside, outside, in the car, in the sandbox. Um, in like the little water table. They just absolutely love dinky cars. So this one is from the uh, Art Cars series and I just thought that was really cool with like the graffiti look that was to it. Then this one is the Space series. So it's kind of got that little alien vehicle type vibe but it was in that hot pink and purple color which I thought was perfect for my eldest daughter and then this is of course a muscle mania car and it's in the purple for my youngest and then this is actually from the rescue series and it's a police interceptor is what it's called but it is a vibrant orange police vehicle they love all the emergency vehicles. They tend to fight over those ones. So when I saw this one, I thought I'd pick it up. So they have one more emergency vehicle that they can share amongst each other. Then I did also pick up three more backpack tags for my eldest ones who are in school. Um, I figure that come Christmas time, like once they go back to school after the holidays, that their backpack tags that they're currently using might be damaged or lost or they might still have them and they can just add this to it. But when I saw them and that they were only $1.25 a piece, I just couldn't pass them up. So they are little plush Lego look-alike pieces. So they're completely plush, filled with stuff in the inside. And then they have the little backpack hook. And I just thought they were super cute and a really decent size. Like it's an entire size of the palm of my hand. So I just thought those were really nice to have and they could use them on their backpacks to identify them come the new year. So I got the blue, this gorgeous green, and then this really happy yellow. Then I also picked up a package of the trash pack the gross gang in your garbage so these have trading cards and then they also have like little figures it's kind of like the boy version of Shopkins at least in my opinion um, but my kids are obsessed with trading cards it doesn't matter like what is on the trading cards it could be hockey baseball um, the magic cards Pokemon cards and in my last haul I actually found Shopkins cards for them but these ones I picked up simply because of the amount that you got in the package. So you get 54 cards in here for only $2. Show you the sign there. And what I liked about it still was that they come in their individual packages. So I can hand these out to my kids when they've done something good, done a chore around the house, or just if I need to distract them for a little bit while I make dinner or do a load of laundry. You know how it is with kids, sometimes you just need to hand them something to keep their interest for a little bit. So I thought this was a cheap and easy way to do it. There are 125 different cards that you can collect and you get 54 in this package. So I do hope that they get a wide variety of ones. I mean, they're really not gonna care. They just like to collect them and then trade them amongst each other. But I thought it would be nice if we get as many different you know, options as possible. So we'll see when they start to opening these, what kind of things we get. Then I also did pick up some more books. 
Um, I absolutely love the dollar stores for books. It doesn't matter if it's Dollar Tree or Dollarama, such great finds and such great deals. So these are actually almost like little comic books. They're called Junior Classics and they're illustrated and they're by the Good Literature brand, which I've never seen before at any of my dollar stores. There are a whole bunch in the series of classic fairy tales and they do show a list of all the fairy tales on the back side of the books, which is a neat feature because then you can see the ones that are still in the collection that you haven't got. And these actually retail in Canada for $4.99 a piece. I don't know where else you can find these because I've never seen them before, but they regularly retail for $4.99 a piece and I got them each for a dollar. So this is what they look like. It's like trade paperback size but it's very thin. It's on like a, a thicker paper. And if you open it up here, this is what I mean by it looks kind of like a comic book, but it is the classic stories and they've got that very traditional um, illustration in there, which I thought was really nice because it's kind of combining the modern like comic book, graphic novel, story outline, but then the actual illustrations have that very classic vibe. So I thought it was a nice mix of both worlds. So I got Wizard of Oz, and then I also got The Ugly Duckling, Cinderella, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and Beauty and the Beast. I don't know if you've noticed, but the last two here, the Goldilocks and the Beauty and the Beast, give a little bit of glare. That's because the covers on these ones are actually um, like thicker and they have that glossy material on the front and the back side. I'm not sure why some are all paper and some have the glossy cover, but they were both a dollar. It didn't matter which style you got. And some of the stories were only available in the glossy cover and some were only available in the paper. So I'm not sure if it's like two different series or not. Um, each of them does have a number that's in the 500s. So I do believe they are of the same series, just maybe when they were published, they changed. I'm not really sure. And then this is what I was talking about on the back where they do list the oodles and oodles of fairy tale options you can get. So definitely if you are near a Dollarama, check yours out and see if they have these because this is such a good deal. Regularly $5 in Canada for a buck. And the classic stories that you know and love and that your kids will probably know and love. Even if you just want to pick them up for yourself, just to kind of reminisce about your childhood, do that as well. Then, a little bit of a boring item, I did pick up a Coffee Mate. This is just the original, so this is what you can add to your coffee if you don't have any milk or creamer around the house. So I did pick it up more of like an emergency, as I don't particularly care for the, uh, the taste of it, but I would prefer to have coffee um, with a little bit of this in it, because it's a whitener rather than drinking coffee black. I find that's a little too hard for me. So I did pick this up mostly for emergency sake. And it was only $1.50 for 170 grams, which I thought was a good deal. Then I did pick up one more of the Little Wood Signs. If you've watched my videos, you've probably seen me haul these before. And I just think they are so cute because you can add a little bit of decor to like a tinier spot that normally you might not be able to. So this is the one I picked up. It says, Coffee Makes Everything Possible. And it's just the white text on the black. And these are all by Home Deco, or Home Deco, I guess, and they're $1.25 a piece. So they're no different than the ones that you can find at Dollar Tree. And they do come with a little piece of twine to hang them up. This one I'm actually going to be hanging with my coffee mugs. My mugs hang on like little hooks underneath my cabinet, and I'm just going to hang this off of one of the hooks too. So I thought that would be a nice way to display it. Then I did pick up a part of one of my youngest son's Halloween costumes. He wanted to be a knight this year, and I like to try and piece together their costumes from different stores. 
mostly um, the dollar stores and sometimes like Goodwill and Value Village. I don't buy the actual costumes that Valid Value Village sells because they tend to be on the pricier side as well. And like Spirit and that, it's just crazy for how much they charge for their costumes. So I like to try and piece them together as best I can to cut down on costs because when you have four kiddos who want to dress up for Halloween, it can get really, really expensive for a one day event. So this is um, by King Glory is what it's called and it's Medieval Swords and Shield. And it's the Montoy brand, which is the toy brand that Dollarama carries all the time. So this wasn't in the seasonal section, it was in the toy section. But you get the little arm guard, you get a big shield, and then you get a long sword as well. So I thought that was pretty good. Three pieces for three bucks, works out to be a dollar a piece, and a great start to his costume. All he really needs now is like a helmet, um, and then he could just dress in black, and he's pretty well good to go. So I thought that was a really good deal for almost the entirety of his Halloween costume. And then the last item that I picked up is actually for my mom's birthday again. I know you guys are probably getting used to the fact that the last few seconds of every video I do just tell my mom to sign off. So I'm gonna just do that again here quickly. So bye mom, thanks for watching. She's one of my most avid viewers, of course. Thanks mom. Um, but uh, I don't like her to have her surprises ruined, so that's why I just want to make sure that she doesn't keep watching. I mean, if she does and wants to ruin her surprise, that's her choice, but she tells me that she signs off when I <laughs> tell her to. So this is actually supposed to be a cutting board um, with a handle, but to me it could pass as just like a, a decor piece that you hang up on the wall. So I just thought it was really, really bright and cheery. And then on the reverse side, it's just white. So if you're actually gonna use it as a cutting board and you don't want to um, scrape or cut up the pattern on the one side, you can flip it over when you're using it as a cutting board and then keep your picture nice for when, you're, um, when you tuck it away or keep it on your wall in a hook for when you're not using it. Um, I figured you'd probably end up using it as just a decor piece and putting it up on the wall or you could even put it out on the coffee table and put like a little flower or something on top of it and that would look nice as well. It is three dollars but it is a solid cutting board like you can use it um, for cutting food on. It doesn't need to be a decor piece so I thought for three dollars for having the ability to be both was a pretty good deal. Now, the only thing is, and for those of you who are watching, if you could comment down in the comment section if you know if this is a sunflower or a Gabrera daisy. Because when I first saw it in the store, I'm like, yes, super excited, it's a sunflower. And when I got it home, I was thinking about it a little bit more and I'm like, maybe it's not. Maybe it is a Gabrera daisy. So that is the flower up close. I, like I'm looking at the petals and I'm getting more of a daisy vibe now. I mean, it doesn't really matter whether it's a sunflower or a daisy. It's still got that bright yellow cheerfulness along the flower theme. I'm still gonna give it to her either way. But if you know, or are confident in the fact that you think you know what flower this is, please, please do comment below and let me know, just so I know for my own peace of mind, if I'm crazy or not, if it's a sunflower or a daisy or maybe something else all together. I know it's not a black eyed Susan because it doesn't have the black in the middle. But if you look in the center, it's got more of the sunflower center, but then the Gabbara daisy leaves, not leaves, uh, petals. <laughs> so let me know if you know. All right, so that is actually the last item that I picked up from my Dollarama trip this time. Like I said, a little bit smaller, but some of the items I found I was just so excited about that I didn't want to wait to show you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you who come out and take some time and spend it with me to see what I'm able to haul for you. And I hope it does inspire you to check out your local stores and see what kind of amazing finds you can stumble on. So if you haven't already, please do subscribe and click that bell if you want to be notified when I post a new video. And guys, have an amazing weekend. It is supposed to be gorgeous weather, so definitely do get out and enjoy it before we get too deep into fall and too cold to go out too much. Thanks again, guys. Bye now.